Undertale is a horrifying game. It has mysterious and creepy characters, monsters that either want to kill you brutally and deadly with pointy sharp sticks, or just hang out with you I guess, I don't know, it's their choice, in this insanely terrifying game. Today my fellow viewers, we will be counting it down. The top 10 scariest on the team. Uh, I'm uh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I can't do the same. I'm just messing with you guys. Uh, although Undertale is um, maybe a little bit scary at times. <laughs> um, you know, Undertale is a game that everybody on this planet pretty much has heard of. It's popular in, you know, online media, in memes, on YouTube, on the deviant art. Wherever you think of something, Undertale has been there before. Heck, I bet you anything that there's a copy of Undertale that's flung into space with StarCraft and just being played by the Alien Federation or something. But if you are in fact the 1% of people living underneath a rock like Patrick and don't know what Undertale is, then let me give you a quick rundown. Undertale was an indie game created by Mr. Doggo himself, Toby Fox. And the game is kind of like an RPG where you play as a child who falls into the underground where all monsters live. In the game, all your choices matter, blah blah blah, every single thing you do affects the game. If you haven't played the game, th then, then why are you watching this video? But um, if you have played the game, then you're probably waiting till I get to the title of this video. Um, hang on, give me a second, I'm still in the intro. Anyway, so if you haven't played the game, you better play it for yourself or at least watch some playthroughs of it because golly. But yeah, you're probably um, wondering the title and writing in the comments saying I'm taking too long on this intro. But, you know, um, I, I, it's uh, it's my intro, so um, shush. Anyway, now I'm here to talk about the um, all the songs of Undertale, uh, including Mad Mew Mew. Like, Undertale is a, pl is a game that, you know, you love a bunch of things about it. You love the characters, the scenes in it, the dialogue. But I mean, everybody remembers the music, like seriously, nobody... Nobody can edit a video without putting Undertale music in it. And these rankings are gonna be my opinion. My, it's only my opinion, okay? So if anybody wants to, you know, tell me what they will rank theirs, um, maybe press in the comments. And, um, not, now not, let, let's not keep this up. Since it is a very long video, let's just start it. Actually, wait, real quick though. So the way I'm ranking the songs is that I split them into sections. Numbers 102 through 101 are class I classify as the horrible section, where it holds songs that I really hate. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Numbers 100 through 82 are the bad section, where the songs I don't fully like are um, held. Numbers 81 through 51 are the meh slash alright section. These are the numbers that I'm alright with and sometimes listen to, but not all the time. Numbers 50 for 11 are the good slash great section. It holds the songs I really enjoy and like a lot and will honestly listen to them a bunch of times. But, numbers 10 through 1 are the perfect slash godlike section. This section holds the best of the best. The songs are my absolute favorite. Heck, I, I, I like defend them to my life and honestly they, they I listen to them all the time. So yeah, I write the song again because my love for this game. But, and also how much I enjoy listening to them a bunch of times and editing them into my videos. On top of that, I also rank them in how they feel in the game and also how they feel in the scenes that they're in. Um, I involve like, you know, what the community has done to a song, how the scene feels about it, and also how, how I just enjoy it in general. But, you know, you're probably wondering, um, like after, what, five minutes of this intro, where the heck it, uh, is the ranking? Well, I'm getting into it right now. So now that I told you about how I rank these, on to the countdown. Um, oh my god. Starting with... Oh, a mystery? You don't say. I don't know why I hate this song, but I hate this song. Like, I legitimately don't know why. It's just not feeling it for me, I guess. Like, you guys can type in the comments about how this is your favorite song or something, but I personally do not do not like this song. But honestly, this actually would not have been last place. I mean, in fact, it actually wasn't. It was second to last. 
But I felt kind of bad because somebody asked me to put this song in first place. So I was like, you know what? I won't put it last. You're probably like thinking to yourself, oh, what song he could we be thinking about? What song could um, be first place? Well... It really do be a long elevator though. This is only not last place because Snazzing told me to put it in the first place. And I was I was being very generous that day. Screw it. I, I I'm putting I'm not putting this in last place, I'm putting it in second to last. It, it was supposed to be last place, but now it's in second to last. I hope you're happy, Snazzing, if you're watching this video. Alright, well now I moved on to the bad slash awful section. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing a couple, a lot of more songs than just two um, in this section, I'll tell you that. And again, this is a section that I feel like, meh, uh, I don't know, it's like weird. It's like weird, I don't hate them because they're in the game, but you know, I'm not a big fan of them. So anyway, let's move on. You're probably wondering what the first song in this section is. Well... Ooh. Number 99, Barrier. Uh, nice music for tension, but not something I'd hit headbang to. Uh, speaking of tension... Man, this really is some unnecessary tension. Seems a little bit, um, tension y if you ask me. Let's try another controlled shock. Oh, a dangerous mystery this time. How convenient. Again, just like Mysterious Place, this isn't actually doing anything for me. Sorry, people who are fans of mysteries. be like just five seconds what else do I say I played this song during Christmas. Too bad it's not Christmas though, so screw you. Man, I really do be an idiot. Just ominous noise and the beginning of a song that I'll, I'll really get to later. Hang on, just just wait. Just wait, I'll watch the video, I'll put timestamps, but you'll you'll see. Man, she's honestly playing the piano worse than me. Yeah, I don't even know how the heck to play a piano. Uwa So Heats. This is actually the first Uwa song that we got to. Personally, I actually forgot about these songs. And I know I'm getting a really, really weird in-depth look at Uwa for some reason. Uh, so Heats or whatever. But I mean, man, I'm feeling so hot from the song right now, jeez. Again, I, I I actually forgot all about these songs, and personally, this is the worst one in my opinion. Oh my! Another song that plays before the actual song I'll get to later. Same as you idiot, just ominous noise diexy.
Bergen Trucken. Bergen. Bergen Trucken? I don't know. How the heck are you supposed to say that name? Like, why the heck is it called this? Honestly, it's not last because of how good the scene with it is. Like, god dang, Asgore just breaking the mercy sign. It was just so good. But I mean, I, I still don't like it, to be honest. I The only time I play it is just before um, Asgore's theme, which I'll get to later. Pathetic House. Man, that title makes me feel home for some reason. Oh, wait! Feels great for the scene it's in, but I don't like um, it as much without con any talk context. I'm sorry. I don't like it that much without any context, but overall, it was good for the scene it was in. My god, running from Undyne was really scary, I guess. Confession. Honestly, a good song. I wish it was better. Don't ask me what that means, because I don't even know what that means. This is literally another song that plays before an actual song that I'll get to later. But it's higher because I, the song I'll get to later, I really, I'll really talk about. Don't worry. Number eighty-nine, premonition. For some reason, for some unknown reason, I like this song more than anything else in this section. I don't know why. It's literally just a couple notes with silence. But I mean, I don't know. I just really enjoy listening to it sometimes. I mean, I guess that really do be how it is with some of these songs. Alright, so now we've moved on to the meh slash alright section. So these are pretty much the songs that I'm, you know, pretty like meh with. Uh, I, I listen to them a couple times, not all the time. I wouldn't just like constantly be begging to listen to this every single time I go out and, you know, just, I don't know, just do stuff. I don't like draw, maybe try draw. But I mean, still, yeah, this is the uh, section that I'm fine with. Um, I'm more fine with this one than the bad slash awful section, though. I'll just say that before you're, like, confused and asking how the heck do I rank these and how terrible of a video this is. Well, anyway, let's, um, let's count out this list starting with... The start of the game. I didn't want to put it here, but slowly while I was ranking it... It started dwindling down fast. There also is a better version of this that I will get to later. Sorry, I, I keep saying that, but, and you know, it, I, I have to keep it somewhere a secret. Determination. So let me be honest, this song is only this high, because it's played so much if you're bad at the game. Alright. So I may anger a lot of people with this one. Alfie's, uh, I mean, honestly, I'm fine with the character, but this song, for some reason, in my gut, makes me want to hate her. It's like a fine song, but, uh, like, I just, it makes me want to hate Alfie's for some reason, I don't know why. And also, there's a bunch of better songs than this one. Dating Tense. Man, this really is some tense dating, if you ask me, honestly. Not as good as the other dating songs, that's all I'll say, without spoiling anything in the future. Quiet Water. Man, this this honestly is some quiet water. Mmm. Mmm, this is some good tunes right here. Mmm! Look at these tunes! Uh, honestly, it's the same with a bunch of songs here. There, there's something else I'd rather listen to than this one. But I mean, 
it will tie into the Delta Room video if I ever make that scene, um, you know, seeing if this video does well, but it probably should. Who was so temperate? Honestly, I did not even remember the song, but I'm surprised I enjoyed it so much. Again, the Uwas I don't remember, but like, I'm surprised I actually enjoyed it a little bit more. Seventy-five Spook Wave. This really is spooky indeed. It sounds like something a ghost would make. Oh wait! Spook Tune. I like this song, but it's not as spooky. Actually, you know what? Switch places right now, you two. Live, live action report news coming in. Um, Killer Keemstar. Uh, oh. Right here with the news! This sounds like a news channel. Oh, wait. Anticipation. So, I probably just led people to leave the video with this one. But I mean, the thing about this song is that I'm really okay with it. Like, I actually enjoy the song a little bit. It's just that it's, it's to get you hyped. It's to get you hyped for the rest of the game because it plays in the beginning. And I'm sorry to the people who just left re writing an angry comment saying I should have put this higher. But one, it's my list. And two, I don't feel like it's the best fighting music. I, there's another one that will be above the list that, that involves anticipation that you'll, you will see. You will see how much I enjoy that song over this one. But like, I'm okay with the song. But it's just that it's only to get you hyped. It's not really like, oh my god, it's like battle music and whatnot that you can really do. So yeah, uh, anyway. Number 71, Dog Song. If the last one didn't leave to people leaving, then I'm sure this one will. I like this as a meme song. And even the, for the battle it's in, I really enjoy it. I really like the battle too. You know, the dog's pretty cute, honestly. But I mean, I don't listen to it that much. And again, it's just a dog barking a bunch of times. So, and you know, it's pretty funny. But I'm not gonna give it like a, you know, god tier ranking. Sorry, sorry to the people who are fans of this song. Number 70, Burn in Despair. The song it pretty much interrupts um, Asriel's songs. The song pretty much just interrupts Asriel's songs. Like, uh, I will get to them in a little bit, but yeah. Like, again, I like the song, but like, again, how badly it interrupts it. I just can't put it any higher. Number 69, I said the funny number. Oh, Dungeon. Okay, uh, so this is a dungeon. The song's okay, I guess. What else do you want me to say? Number 68, Hotel. Honestly, this sounds like a song I actually hear in the hotel, to be honest. I also like that Asriel's motif, like motif or whatever the heck those are called is in here. That's pretty nice. Number 67, can you really call this a hotel? I didn't receive a mitt on my pillow, did I? I'm sure, I'm not sure why, but I actually like this faster version than the regular one. It's weird. I, I don't know, you, but you'll see my opinions change on faster versions of stuff later on, don't worry. Number 66. I said the Star Wars number, Undyne. This song is played when you meet Undyne for the first time, and the song scene is very good. It keeps the mystery of who Undyne is, and even the, the like the song itself makes her a lot more ominous and mysterious. The only drawback I have is that when I know who the character is, because this game's been out for like five and a half years at the time of this video, it's like, yeah, this song doesn't do too much for me. I mean, like. Sure, it, I mean, like, it, the whole purpose of it was that you didn't know who Undyne was. You didn't know that she was the, she, apparently, like, only, the only thing you knew was that he or she was this menacing figure that Papyrus said could kill you in an instant. But, I mean, you know, you actually find out that she's, like, a re really cool sweetheart or whatever. Man, I sound like there's a snout to right now. What the heck am I doing? 
Number 65, Death Report. Man, this really do be reporting death. For some reason, I actually like this a lot better than Live Report. A lot more, you can tell. It sounds like some breaking news you hear on TV. Oh, wait! It was so holiday. So I honestly don't know why I like this song more. Honestly, I would play on Christmas. But it's not Christmas, so it's number 64 now and changed my mind. I really like this song a lot. I can't give a full in-depth analysis on each, for each song, so sorry, what did you expect? But I mean, again, I'll just say that I like the song a lot. Number 62, Thunder Snail. I sometimes listen to this while I'm running and start going faster. Not higher since it's overshadowed by a bunch of um, other songs. Also, it's a rip-off turbo, changed my mind. Number 61, bird that carries you over a disproportionate small gap. Honestly, the song's just really funny. The bird really do be carrying fricks though around that, um, the, 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 the small gap, I'll just say that. Number 60, The Choice. This truly is a scary choice, I'll say that. I like the song before for being mysterious, I just like it for being mysterious and ominous. Although I don't really listen to it a lot, I do. I did like it when we listened to it, it was pretty fun. Although I didn't like other songs for being ominous and mysterious, it's my ranking, so um, you know, um, no. Number 59, Wrong Enemy? Wrong Enemy? The right song. Really good song that I sometimes listen to, but again, better songs ahead of this, in my opinion. Though, I will admit, this is a banger. Number 58, Good Night. I really could sleep to this, honestly. Like, sometimes I, I like, listen to music while I'm just, like, in bed, you know, sleeping, tiring, whatever, doing stuff. And then I just put in my earphones, put in my headset. And then just listen to music to go to sleep to. I mean, that's probably not a good idea, but still. I mean, yeah. It has this extra sad feeling with it, too. And that that's it. There's nothing else. And, again, just good night, I guess. It's and There's nothing else after it. And it's pretty, it's pretty cool, sad, but also pretty nice to listen to sometimes. Number 57, Temi Village. Them like this song. Them thinks it's great. Number 56, Tem Shop. The song I will listen to when I need college money. Yeah, you know, you know, um, uh, you know, when I go to college, I don't know. Um, did, I did actually did not mean to put the Temi songs together, to be honest, but I mean, I must admit, I, I like think, to think of this song sometimes. Number 55, For the Fans. I sometimes see this song forgot, either forgotten or put on the lower end of some list. I really feel for the song, and the scene with, and the scene in dialogue with Metaton is actually really great, at least to me, and kind of makes you feel for the character a little bit more. I mean, after he tried to murder you, of course, for views. I mean, he has to get that ad revenue somehow. Number 54, But the Earth Refused to Die. This song is really good for both the scene that it's in and, uh, again, it's before the song that I really enjoy, which I'll talk about later. It really shows how much in the Genocide one, Undying is the hero of this, especially in this, like, music part. Like, it, it's uh, basically just all the voices of the Earth calling to Undying, basically telling her not to give up. Pretty much what would have happened to you in the past fist fun is now happening to Undyne. I mean, it, wish, it makes you feel like this is going to be a really good fight. 
Oh, wait! Number 53, Stronger Monsters. I don't know why I enjoy this song so much. I mean, I guess Stronger Monsters really be giving stronger music, but I mean, again, I don't know why, but I love this song. Number 52, The Power of Neo. Uh, the only reason this, um, this song is so high is because I actually enjoy the music for it, and even though it's like literally 30, like 10, 20, 30 seconds long, I mean, again, I just actually enjoy what, what it has in store for it. I mean, I do hate that it's not longer and Metaton Neo isn't a fight, although I understand why. One thing I do love, though, is uh, that people even this part of the song, just this beginning part, you never actually get a uh, really a good song out of it. They still made like fan um, boss themes and even a boss fight of it. I actually really love that about the um, power of Neo. Again, it may be cheating, but I always said, I said at the beginning that I love what the community does and I'll add that to it. And I did, I'll add it here. That, that's why it's like number 52. Alright, so we're on to number 51, and you're probably wondering, what song barely didn't make the top 50? Well, I, I may just disappoint some people. Look, look, I really like Flowey, and I really like the song for Flowey, but it just couldn't break top 50, I'm sorry. It is a very good song, especially to listen to. I feel so friends, you do stuff together, you is with you and me. Okay, so how many people actually knew that those two were basically the same? I mean, how would you not know? I mean, I asked my mom yesterday and she didn't even know, so I mean, I don't know. She hasn't even, she didn't even know what an Undertale was. I, I'm, I'm shocked I didn't even show her that like years ago. Anyway, yeah, I, again, I like Flowey. I like this song. But again, there are way better songs than this one just being the same thing over and over for like 30 seconds. And again, I, I just couldn't break top 50 for me. I'm sorry. Alright, so now we move on to the good slash great section. These are the songs that are absolutely just so good. And I already said at the title of the video, but like, these are songs I will make sure are in my playlist all the time, I'm sorry. I mean, not my running playlist, but like, just period in my actual playlist that I listen to while I'm at home. Making videos. Doing homework. Doing stuff. I don't know. Anyway, let's start off with this list. Starting with number 50. Chill. Man, that's really remain, reminding me of that Ben 10 alien. This song, I just keep, I just keep it in the uh, top 50. Uh, this song is just so, I mean, I don't know what more to say about it. I just love the scene, and I just really relax with this song a bunch. Anytime I'm stressed, I listen to this one to relax and just lay down. Yes, I do mimic uh, what they do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not creative. I mean, it's not higher because... I, I honestly, other than those times, I never listen to a song that many times. But I mean, I I feel I, I I give it a little bit of time, and it'll probably be like what top thirty or top twenty or something. Number forty nine, memory. It I mean I just really like this song. It sounds really beautiful, and I love how like it feels like raindrops or. Creating the notes. Yes, I know it's a music box, but still. I feel like this version of Asriel's team is also really, very, like, really cool. Yeah, I mean, too bad there are other songs, so sorry, not sorry. Number 48, Dating Fight. Yeah, remember when I said something about Hotel and I like the faster versions of songs better? Well, I mean, I, I kind of had to nitpick this one. I really do enjoy the song a lot. I enjoy that it is a faster version of the um, last dating song, um, but I'll get to that in a minute. I want to make the song higher because of the scene and who's in it. You'll know when I get to it. But I mean, again, um, you know, I, I just couldn't put it higher than other songs on this list.
Number 47, Sans Undertale. This song is just the definition of Sans Undertale right here. I mean, I love Sans a lot. He's like in my top 5 characters, I'm just gonna say it right now. I'm just gonna spill the beans, spoil the next ranking video. He's in my top 5 characters list right there. I just love this song as the first time you meet Sans because it just... It just shows, it just like, makes you hear what type of character he's gonna be. And I mean, it, it just tells you what to expect from further from the game, and like, um, just show you that there are gonna be a bunch of fan favorites in this game. This song just shows how much, um, you know, how, how Sans is, and I really love it for that. Number 46, Once Upon a Time. This song is the first game, is the first song you hear in the game. And it's honestly really good. As the intro to it, it's really good. And like, it's like, kind of like the Sans song. Where in the Sans one, it basically gives your expectations for how the characters are going to be. Once Upon a Time gives your expectations for how the game is going to be. It really just shows how the game will go. And, like, you know, it obviously, like, you know, tells the intro of the game, like, oh my god, you fell into the underground, now you, ha now you have to escape and whatnot. But, I mean, I, again, I really like this song. Um, it actually, I actually did, never liked this song at first. I always skipped it, but, like, after a while, it really grew on me. Number 45, Respite. I mean, I like this song for the past fifth run. It truly spells out that you just freed everyone and saved the world, no pun intended. And as you and your friends you've made along the way look at the sunset ahead while this is happening, it's really nice. This song is honestly just so nice after you free everyone. The song makes you feel like the, the run that you just did was worth something. All the characters you saved, all the friends you basically made, although they're not real, they're video game characters. I mean, like... I, I can see how this is how people got love love from Undertale, like they started loving Undertale and all that whatnot. I mean, again, the, it makes you feel um, like the run was worth it since you freed everyone and you've helped so many people. It's raining somewhere else. I just love this song. And the interaction that happens in it. It shows uh, the reason Sans protecting you. And it also shows um, Sans and Tutorial's relationship. Which I really enjoy. And the song is even better. Because at the beginning and ending. There are some random people talking. Which for the scenes in. It really does make you seem like you're in a restaurant. Because you are in a restaurant. Again I really like this song. And I honestly... I, uh, like the musical part of it, I'd hear in some restaurant too, and I just enjoy it for that. Heck, I'll probably use it as the um, outro for the song, a uh, spoiler alert for the outro. Number 43, Shop. I like this song. I just love the song for Shop, and honestly, it's really fun and nice to listen to. And also because of the entire like trap remixes people did of this song. Number 42, Home, Music Box Version. I really love this song. Oh god, that was a voice crack. Uh, and it's really nice. It sounds like something like, you know, again, I actually have a music box for it. Um, you know, title of the song, whoopsies, I'm spoiling. I'm, I'm breaking the fourth wall. But I mean, yeah, it's really nice to sleep to. It's like Good, good Night from earlier. It's like, so many songs I, I sleep to, honestly. But I mean, again, it's kind of... It's kind of lower because, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to, trying to rock out to some of these songs. This one comes up, and it, f it makes me feel sleepy because it's a music box. I mean, yeah, then that's the downside. I, I never want to listen to it when I'm, you know, not sleepy. But let's not dawdle. Let's um, move on because we have 41 more songs to go. Nice. Number 41. Snowden Town. This song is really nice. It makes you, it like, 
I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It just feel fits you into this environment. A town, you know, of snow. You know, just basically just Santa's workshop.exe. But I mean, it's pretty nice for a Christmas town. I mean, not gonna lie. I, I actually do listen to this song a lot on Christmas. And it's pretty nice to listen to. The only thing that held it back is that, well, I kind of don't have the same feeling as when I first listened to it. But I mean, that's basically a bunch of songs on this list that basically went down in the drainer. But I mean, yeah. I, I don't have the same feel for it, but I still enjoy it all, all the while. Anyway, let's move on. Number 40, Fallen Down. This song, I really like as the first one here for Toyo. It just basically makes you think of this, like, it basically just pictures that Toyo is just a sweet, kind-hearted goat mama. The only downside is that I get sick of this version a lot of times while I'm listening to it, but it's a very nice song, and I honestly love it for Toyo's, um, you know, theme song. But, there is a better version of this song that I'll get to later. And, you know, you'll see my true opinions for that. Number 39, an ending. I feel like this song is really good in terms of ending songs, and I really like it a lot. It's just, like the title says, it's an ending song, and, I mean, like, I mean, what else would it be? It sounds like one. It's an ending that makes you sad, but also gives you hope and stuff. It makes you want to come back to the game and see what you could have done better. It, it really is a good ending song, in my opinion, but there's another one better than that that I'll get to. Number 38, Menu, Full Edition. God, VoiceCracks.exe, what the heck is going on here? This menu theme is really fun, I enjoy it better than the first one. And technically this is a full one, so that, you know, again, that makes it a lot better. Considering this song is when you finish the pacifist one, it makes the menu seem a lot better too. I really like this song in general. The uh, only nitpick I have with it is that, again, it's the menu theme. Uh, I may not even focus on the menu that much, heck, I haven't even opened that menu since like 2000, uh, I don't know, maybe um, 17, I don't, I don't actually know. But yeah, really good song, and I honestly love it a lot. So you guys forgot, I, I for so you guys thought I forgot all about what I said about anticipation, about how there was a better version of it. Well... I like this battle song a lot more than Anticipation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to, um, you know, break the news to you guys, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I honestly like it a lot. Instead of trying to get you hyped, it immediately gets you into the battle music. And I just love it so much. It's definitely a better a fight song than Anticipation. And it's best for the beginning fights of the game, I'll say that. But I mean, again, I really like this song, and honestly, it's better than Anticipation all the way. Like, anybody who defends Anticipation, listen to this song instead and tell me it's not a better battle music to listen to. Number 36, Snowy. So I honestly loved this song at first, it was in my top 10, but then it slowly started dwindling down. I like this song. You now the song sounds very beautiful and lovely, lovely sometimes. So you're probably asking, if I like it this much, then why did I put it down so low and it's not higher? Because of this cute little fella. Mm. Papyrus interrupts the song so much. And honestly, it makes me forget this song because I, I remember Papyrus more often than this song. Like, um, it's like some people say, this song... It's like, it only gets interrupted by Papyrus, and it's no problem about Papyrus. It's just that this song is just like, it's forgettable after that moment. I mean, as we speak, I'm probably editing this and wondering what song I'm talking about. But again, that, that's pretty much it. Nice song, but it's interruptions. It's just not going to be able to go further for me, I'm sorry. So, again, I may upset people with this song. 
number 35, the song that may play when you fight Sans, or I don't know how the heck to pronounce that. So I always see the song ranking at the top of like top 10 lists and whatnot, but I don't get it. It's a really fun song, and I love the song. I listened to it a couple times. But I mean, I don't see why this is in the top 10 of most lists. I really like the song, and I wish we heard it in game because a Sans fight where he's not trying to constantly murder you to death because you killed everyone, it actually feels enjoyable, but again, Sans is too lazy to even give us that, so he just gave us a song and basically shut it. Again, sorry for making it not higher, but it's my list, so shut it. But I mean, I, 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 okay, I, I sound a little bit offensive there, but I mean, like, you know, I, I don't see the appeal of playing in top 10 because there was a lot better songs. Number 34, Don't Give Up. This song is really nice. This song just symbolizes to me, like, just not giving up in general, and personally to me, that honestly means a lot. Like, trying not to give up and as your friends are cheering you on, is really good. And like, everyone comes to save you, it's like a really neat thing, and the song in general just really sounds nice with everybody just coming together. Although, but I mean, again, uh, it gives you so much determination. This is an Undertale ranking. You should have seen this joke coming, I'm sorry. If you didn't, then uh, you, 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 um, you fell for it. Number 33, here we are. Ah, uh, here we are, and oh god, it's spooky. Although the song starts off scary, it just becomes a sheer fun after first hearing it. And although, like, um, being my favorite place of the game, the amalgam, whatever rooms that they are. Like, this is my favorite place in the game. I mean, like, I don't know. It's a really nice song, and I really enjoy it so much. The only thing that holds back for this is that when I think of the amalgams, I don't think of this song. I think of another song. But again, this is my favorite place in the game. Like, it, it's honestly my favorite place in the game, I'm sorry, but I mean, like, uh, it's a fun song in general, and I really love it so much. Number 34, Ruins. This song is very good. I really like this as the first overworld song you really hear. When you're here walking around, you're going through the ruins of this unknown place, this new place, and this song just fits so well. The only thing I have to nitpick is that the song sounds very different several times over. And I sometimes don't remember if the song, if, you know, the parts are actually part of the same song or are a different song entirely. But I mean, hey, that's just me and my goldfish brain. Sorry about that. Number 31. Nah, I don't know how to say that. Nah, whatever. This song, honestly, is honestly so good. And this song, is, in general, it just speaks everything that is happening. But the thing about this song is that it feels weird. I don't know how to say it. But I mean, like, I, get, I actually really enjoy that entire intro of Undyne, just basically, like, you know. Uh, the entire face removal thing and about to spear you in the heart jumping from a cliff. But I mean, like, I mean, it's just weird. It feels weird compared to the other version that I'll get to. But I mean, uh, the other version is a lot better. I like the song in general and I think the scene's really good, but again, it's, it's not higher because there's another version of it. Thank you. 
Number 30, Fallen Down Reprise. I really like this reprise, or whatever the heck that means. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I already spoke about Fallen Down, but this is why I truly like it. This song's pretty cool because it basically stops the uh, um, Asgore fight, and basically all the other monsters come to help you from Goat Dad murdering you to death. And uh, Mr. Dogman Toby uh, could have just done Toriel's Fallen Down theme before she came back, but I mean, we got a better version here, which I pretty much enjoy. It's not as annoying as the other one constantly playing. And I actually really enjoy this one and the beautiful elements of it. I just love this one a lot more than the regular one. And, you know, it's really nice to listen to, and the scene's really great. Number 29, His Steam. I really love this song a lot. I say that a lot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying I love songs. It's just a nice song. And, you know, as it, this is full, fully Asriel right here, and I really love that it's basically just his full-on theme right here. This scene's pretty great because you've saved all your friends, everyone you met on your journey, except for one, Asriel. And so you save him now. I mean, it's such a good song for this scene. In general, it's really good. But in terms of the scene, this one just takes the cake. Like, it's an alright song. It's very really good. But this scene just helps it so much, I, I had to put it up here. It was, like, again, if I if this scene didn't exist, it would probably be in, like, like what, 40-something place. But, I mean, it deserves 29 for that scene alone. Number 28, Another Medium. Another Medium is such a fun and good song. I like the um, little techno beats and like, um, you know, Sif that's at the beginning. I don't know, I'm not a singy song guy. I don't actually know what the heck those are at the beginning. And even the parts of Metaton in there I like a, a lot. Also, I really like the Hotlands um, as a location. It's one of my favorite places. Yeah, I mean, not my favorite. But I mean, it's definitely better than Snow. Snow Town. House. But it's still a pretty cool place with the fire and the vents everywhere, and honestly, a wonderful thing to match that. Again, I just really like this song. Number 27, Showtime, or is Showtime, I, I said that wrong, sorry, you can go kill me in the comments. This song just speaks, Metaton. It just basically goes in and tells you who this character is, and I love it for Metaton. Metaton is such a big actor who wants a spotlight on him, and this song definitely applies it. I mean, it really does imply it so well, and it's such a good intro to Metaton as a character. I really love this song and honestly listen to it a lot. Number 26, Core. I just realized I put three songs that relate to Metaton in some way the same place, I don't know. Core was a song at first that I didn't actually enjoy that much, but then it grew on me a lot more. I mean, this song is really good, and the Core itself is a pretty cool place and fun to go around. All the computer sci-fi mechanical doodads in this place are quite neat, but we're talking about songs here, so let me pay attention to that. The song I really enjoy it has some, it has those elements from um, another medium again, and I really enjoy it a lot more than another medium. Again, great overall theme for the core environment, but I, I, and I love it so much. But there are better songs on the list, so don't at me for not putting in like top 10 or 50, uh, 15. I don't know. So, remember how Snowy, you know, Mr. Number 36, I said there that there was a song that kept interrupting it and led to its lower rankings? Yeah, this is the song. This song 
is so good for Papyrus. It basically just goes in there, hits you instantly, like, hits you with a bat on the head, and tells you Papyrus is the best character in the game. I kind of just spoiled my opinion if I ever do a, a character's ranking video. But, it just goes in there and tells you how cute of a character this, um, this skeleton boy is gonna be. I mean, again, he's such a kind skeleton boy, and I love this theme for him so much. But, why, if I love it so much, I love the character so much, why the heck is it top, is it 25 and not, like, number 1? Well, the only thing that holds it back for me is that this song plays every single time Papyrus is on screen. Well, I mean, apart from some cases where Snowy still plays, but I mean, again, it just plays so much, it lost a couple meaning for me. But I mean, there's actually, it's actually another reason than that. There's a way better version of this song that I promise I will get to. But yeah, it's here. No, it's number 25 for now. But I mean, God, I love this song as an intro for Two Papyrus. It's so good. And also, Jack um, uh, voice um, voice at Papyrus, please. Number 24, bring it in, guys. Oh man, this makes me feel so good for not killing everyone. I just really like the feeling of this song. You freed everyone from the other ground, and in this first credit scene that you get, it, it basically shows what they're doing, and I love it. I really enjoy the song and how it basically fills you with positive vibes as you save everyone. So yeah, with all those positive vibes, I mean, I do want to save everyone, but I'm a selfish butthead, and now I want to murder everyone for that sand. Number 23, save the world. I sometimes see this song near the middle of rankings list, but I'm like, why? I really like this song a lot. You're fine as real goat kid, flower person, guy, fella, whatever, and you need to save all your friends, um, you know, that you made along the run. Like, basically all the main characters, but I mean, like, still. And this song ends after you basically say we don't want to set for Asriel, but still, I really like this song. And, you know, it basically leads to you defeating Asriel with the power of friendship and determination. Yes, it's cringy, but still, it's very cool. Really fun and great song, but it's not higher because I feel like it can get a little old sometimes while I'm listening to it. But I mean, again, it, it honestly is very good. Man, this really is a fun date. Dating start, I feel, is a lot better than dating tense and a little bit better than dating fight. I mean, a little bit just basically boosted to like, near to top 20, but still. I mean, it honestly, I honestly feel like you basically listen to this song while hanging out with a significant other, you know, actually on a date, but I, I don't know, I had never been on one, so I actually can't tell if this is, if this is fake news or real news or not. I mean, it's a really fun song, and I enjoy it a lot. Especially with Papyrus right there. Such a cute lad right there, mm. Number 21, Metal Crusher. This is the second best theme that represents Metaton. It sounds so robotic yet so fun. It speaks like a robot star that's trying to murder you for his game show. And I just love how boastful this song feels. It's just like what a robot star's theme song would sound like or something. And it also is my favorite song title, Metal Crusher. I mean, it sounds like some type of Yu-Gi-Oh card or special move some anime character would have. But yeah, really fun song, and I think it basically represents 
represents what the heck was represents represents Metaton the second best in this game. I'll talk about what the first one is. Man, so at the beginning, I talked about how scary this game was, and I honestly, I don't get what's scary about this game any- So I don't understand, like, Save the World, how people put this song in the middle of rankings. I mean, it's a very good song, and you can see why it's just barely in top 20. But I mean, like, it's a very good song. You fight this random abomination of a flower, and the song, I feel, matches that so well. The fast paced parts of it, and how it feels sometimes, like, it just basically feels like something out of a horror game. I mean, even parts that get a little nicer and calming, and it just brings you back to uh, your best friend, so uh, you know, that version of this song. And it's honestly really calming until later on you just hear that static noise and come back to this um, horror fest of a chase scene. I can understand a tiny bit why people don't enjoy this song, though. Because of the screaming laughter of a plant murdering you and, and sucking up all six souls or whatever. I mean, I mean, I was the same way. And the song kind of grew on me after a while of listening to it, and that's why it's in the top 20. So yeah. Number 19, Malga Amalgam. Ah, oh, frick. I messed up the song title. You can go down to the comments and cancel me now. This song, I love a lot. I just love the creepy, yet jazzy tone of it. And it feels like something I could dance to, even though there are creepy monsters that uh, maybe want to kill you? I don't know, but it's whatever. I will say, that although the abominations are trapped down there, at least they can really groove to this song. I mean, that's, that's the one thing... I mean, I'd be trapped down there if I could goop to this song all the time, like, golly. Number 18, Heartache. And so I'm finally talking about the first boss theme of this game. So, Heartache at first, I only had in top 30, but now I feel like this is where it belongs after listening to it more. Just the song feels so good betraying Toyo's emotions that she wants to protect you but not hurt you, but she also wants to keep you in there so you don't basically die. I mean, it's, it's a nice yet sad boss fight. And I really enjoyed the song for it. It basically just makes it feel like a heartache. It may not be top 10, but I mean, hey, it's closer than if it was um, top 30, I'll say that.
Number 17, Asgore. I just realized I put these two together, that's really awkward. Asgore's team, just like a lot of teams, portrays the character very well. A broken king who is now trying to murder a child so he can save everyone. I mean, you know, I I'm sorry, Asgore, you may, be, uh, you may be a really cool character, but I mean, you're murdering. You murder children. How the heck do you get redeemed in any sense? I mean, again, this song just tells it. From the triumphant beginning to the somber middle and the end portion of the song, it really shows um, Asgore both as he's viewed to the mo other monsters, you know, as this hulking behemoth of beast monster that will murder you in an instant. I mean, compared to actually what he is, he's just a lovable, he's just a broken, lovable man who doesn't know what he's doing and trying to help everyone the best way he can, but, you know, is, off is obviously confused, but I mean, still. And I also really love the fight scene, especially the theme in it. So, um, yeah. Moving on. Number 16. Home. This song is so relaxing. It's both sad, yet a really good song to just lie down and listen to and sleep to. Like what I said to other songs, but this one really takes the cake for me. This song just perfectly portrays basically the loneliness of Toyo's home and the ruined and the ruined home itself. It's very sad to hear while exploring it, but I mean, it gives you this homely feel. I know I just did a pun there. I'm sorry. I just really love this song. The only reason it's not higher is because I like a better version of this song. Not that version. Nah, that nah, nah, that version. I'll get to that version in another video. I'll talk about. If this video does well, I mean, like, can we get to 10 likes? Number 15, Ghost Fight. You guys were probably wondering, when will I get to the first version of Ghost Fight? Well, here it is, and it's Ghost Fight. This is the first version of Ghost Fight and that you hear, and it's very fun. And it's very jazzy, uh, upbeat, and for basically a fight against a depressed ghost who makes music in his bedroom. I mean, man, that's just me, except for the music part. It's just not higher, because I like the other version of the song better, but the jazzy feel and, and such, it just feels so nice to it. And it's honestly something I really groove to, honestly. I mean, like, seriously, it's such a good song. Number 14, Reunited. Reunited is such a good song. I know I say that a lot, but this one out of all of them is really nice and good to listen to. You've saved everyone, so now you go to explore every single place. And like, heck, you can even go to the beginning of the game to meet Asriel again. I mean, it's pretty fun. I like it a lot for that. And it's, again, it's a nice pacifist overworld theme for the final part of the game. And exploring the underworld for the final time. I mean, underground. I said, I put the underworld like he, like Frix is dead. I mean, maybe Frix is dead. I don't know. That's a, that's a game theory for somebody who wants to pick that up. But I mean, yeah, it's a really nice theme. Um, for the, um, oh, underworld till, um, under, underground, God, until you, you know, you leave. I mean, well, then you come back and murder everyone, but still. Still, overall, nice song. And I enjoy it, and it's a pretty nice, uh, final theme, uh, until you leave the underground, and it's pretty nice. And, you know, before the emptiness of the genocide run. Number 13, Waterfall. Honestly, best overall theme right here. 
actually second best, but you'll see what the best one is. This might be the most beautiful theme right here. I just really love it. And to think, I was okay with this song, and didn't even have it in my top 30 even. I hate my older, younger self for not thinking that before. Like, this song builds up so great. Then it gets to, into a boastful and loud theme. I mean, it just... I just love it so much. It's not a song that people will think when thinking of Undertale, but I mean, just listen to it. It deserves a lot more recognition by a lot of people. It just ha has such good buildup, and we when it reaches the climax, it sounds so sad, yet hopeful. It's a song that, you know, you hear thinking about bad things that are happening, yet there's some hope in the future. Man, this really sounds like the 2020-2021 song, doesn't it, uh, folks? Overall, I say this song is the second best overall theme right here. And I hope it gets more recognition by people because, honestly, it's such a nice song. Sorry I forgot a weird history with this song. I used to be in love with this song, then after listening to it a lot, I hated this song with burning passion would always keep it on my music playlist. But after re-listening to it again, I I actually I actually have more, a lot more fun with this song. Not as fun, not not as a lot more fun when I first listened to it, but again, a lot of fun. You're probably wondering what song I'm I'm talking about exactly. Well, you thought I would say Michael Levania, didn't you? No, I'm saving that for later, guys. Yeah, so I thought this song sucked at one point. Man, I am so dumb. This song is so much fun, you know, for a murderous human robot trying to murder you and kill you for, so he can get more ratings on his show. I mean, he got he got to get those views somehow, I will say. This pretty much is pure dance music. And that's why, and that's what pretty much anyone does when they um, do any animation or remix of this song. I love it so much. It's a great song. I honestly play these at parties. If I had one... So I get that, people hate Muffet, but come on! Spider Dance is such a good and fast song, and it's the third version of Ghost Fight um, that's in the game. And, I mean, second version on the list, but third version if you're talking about in-game. I mean, yeah, it's a really fun song. I see people rank this low because they hate Muffet, but I mean, why do you let that to dictate it so much to the point where you're like, oh, I'm not even, I'm not even going, well, I'm not even going to talk about this song because I hate Muffet so much. It's like, I mean, I don't know. I, I just love this song in general. You know, how fast it is, how catchy it is. The fact that you can clap and sing this lyric spider dance and you know clap, clap to it a bunch of times. I mean, I bet somebody didn't know that, but still, it makes for really catchy lyrics and beats that people who aren't musicians, like myself can use to enjoy the song a lot more. For all my praises though, why isn't it not in the top 10? It's right here. Because Muffet sucks, okay? I actually agree with people for once. Alright, so now we move on to the godlike section. Again, like I said, these are the songs that define Undertale right here. These are the songs which, like, even normal people probably heard of a couple times, like, holy crap, these songs are extremely good. But these, again, on my opinion, you may have a different top 10. But yeah, anyway, let's um, move on to the list. 
You guys are probably wondering why I haven't said anything about Mad Mew Mew, even though I included Mad Mew Mew in the title, and said explicitly, including Mad Mew Mew in the soundtrack. Well... This is why I love Mad Mew Mew, even though I'm not an anime person, and personally, Mad Mew, Mad Mew Mew is not the best waifu, it's actually, um, it's actually, um, 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 I, I don't know, a flowery, I don't know, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just fast, exciting, and even though I haven't played the fight, I've seen a lot of it, and holy crap, it seems like an uh, exhilarating fight. Like, I just love the song. Maybe if I fight this, it may be in a better placement, because again, I, I seen how the fight looks. You know, with the whole splitting the Switch controllers and whatnot. And I guess maybe it could, um, you know, um, put it in a different placement. But I mean, I don't know, I'll probably do it on stream sometime. Uh, speaking of which, make sure to follow me, JK Games with two S's on Twitch! Yeah, I'll have a link in the description. Yeah, I had to do it at some point. I hate that people don't like this song. Number 9, Last Goodbye. I know it's weird that this is in my top 10, but just hang on a second. This song is something I loved a lot in this game, and overall I just always jam out to it. It's such an exciting song as the ending song pretty much the past this run. It basically... It, I mean, it's better than the other two endings, which is just depression and more depression. It's a powerful song that is just congratulating you on saving everyone and getting the best ending for these characters. I also love how you dodge the end credits, and as he's as Toby Fox, Dogman himself, is putting all the people he wants to congratulate for helping Undertale be a success, and like, it's really kind and sweet, and it's pretty nice as a pacifist ending. I could make the joke about it being, like, you know, the genocide run being right after this, but I sometimes feel like never wanting to do the genocide run after this end credit scene because it's so nice. Again, I may be the only person who likes this song this much to put into my top 10, but I mean, I, I don't know, when I can literally play the drums with my pencils, I mean, I'd say that's the perfect end song right there. Anyway, yeah. Uh, that's my opinion on Last Goodbye. You may be scrolling down in the comments saying this should be dead last, but I mean, that's just my opinion, guys. It's my list. I can do whatever I want. You guys knew I had to include the meme somewhere. Number 8, Megalovania. Honestly, I still love this song. I don't agree with some that it's the best song in the game, because I mean, it's still an awesome song. It's such a great song. Um, but I don't think it deserves number 1 though. I mean, even the name of the song, Megalovania, something about that name, when you listen to it, just feels powerful. And god, I just rock out to the song so much. Even if it's been memed to death, it's such a godlike song. I love the greatness of it, but I mean, hey, I'm, I don't know, I'm just a ranker, so I mean, I don't know every single song thing about it. Overall, I love this song. It's not, I, I don't agree with it being number one on most lists, but I still agree that it can be top 10 material. So, you guys are probably wondering, where the heck is the last version of Ghost Fight? I mean, you probably guessed by now what I'm about to say next. Number 7, Dummy. Dummy is such a jazzy and fun song. This song is solely the reason I, that I like jazz to begin with, and like, 
Well, I mean, I always like jazz, but this is the sole reason I like it a lot more. It feels so catchy and upbeat, and I mean, it feels so like jazzy yet chaotic for especially the person you're fighting. You basically this dummy who wants to, um, I don't know, do stuff. And again, I just love this song so much. I love the concept of the fight. Basically, you can't attack him; you have to use his own attacks against him. Again, it's so chaotic yet. Yeah, feels so right in my opinion, and a lot better than the original Ghost Fight and uh, every single other vo version of it that they did. Because basically, you know, um, Dummy is a slow down version of Spider Dance, and Spider Dance is a uh, slow down version of Mad Mew Mew. But I mean, again, Dummy, in my opinion, is the best version of this of this entire like quad uh, trilogy, quadruple, quad trilogy, or whatever the heck those are called. Again, such an amazing song. I love it so much. Jazz out to it a bunch of times. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. So you'll probably remember me saying, if you don't have a goldfish brain, about, yeah, whatever the heck how you say it, uh, that it sounds weird to me. Well, I mean, it's because of this song. Number 6, Spear of Justice, oh my god, anime is real. Spear of Justice is an amazing song, I love it so much. It just, I mean, I, I don't know, it just gets me hyped so much all the time. And like the big trumpet blast and the amazing boastfulness of it, as you're fighting basically a person who is the leader of the royal guard or whatever, and like, again, it's such a good song. And oh my god, it just feels like something out of an anime, even though I don't like those. I still enjoy some, like maybe some small aspects of them, and this is one of them, I enjoy it so much. I mean, it's my favorite version, it's my favorite Undyne theme of all time. Well, actually, second favorite. I'll get to the favorite in a little bit, but again, overall, such a great song, and I honestly, I honestly think it deserves this spot. Because it, there's no way, but the, the only thing I'll say is that it couldn't beat the next ones. Number 5, Hopes and Dreams. Okay, so I understand why people don't put this in top 10, but I disagree. I agree that Asriel's themes are very much better as a group instead of separated, but this one is just a good song in my opinion, and it doesn't, like again, it is the exception of all the Asriel songs. I loved this song ever since I even heard of Undertale. It was one of the first songs I heard of, and oh my god, I like it so much. I mean, obviously by its ranking, it changed now, because again, this was my favorite, but I mean, still. I mean, Hopes and Dreams starts off quiet, but then it gets to like a great as I don't know what guitar riff and like and drums and whatnot. And it's basically like Last Goodbye, I could just jam out to it and a lot you know, I, I could just jam out to it a lot more than other songs. I mean, it has such a rock and roll feeling to it, but I mean, looking at my Spotify playlist, I say it makes sense. Again, so, such a good song. And I love it so much. Azrael's fight is really cool too. 
I mean, it's literally a fever dream, I'll say that, but I mean, like, golly, I just, I just love it so much, again, I, I don't, I don't know what else to say to this song, it used to be one of my favorites, but even if it's not my absolute favorite, it's still in the top 5, which is pretty good, considering that it's out of 102 songs. Number four, finale. This song is such a great finale to a boss fight. Like, oh my god, this song is just so epic. I almost cursed. I mean, like, how all the hearts come to help you and use all your de determination to kill this horrible creature or flower? I mean, this scene just uh, gives you so much hope and determination. It gives me goosebumps every time I think about it. Ooh. I mean, this song is just so good to jam out to. And like, you could put this song in the ending of most battles and it would still be such an epic and great song. I mean like, especially like, um, battles where the main character just like gets a power boost and starts kicking the, um, bad guy's, um, butt or whatever. But I mean, yeah, I, again, I just, it, I just love this song and how good it is and that it, it's like the ending to that battle against Flowery and it's so fun as you basically win against this horrible creature. I love it so much for that. But yeah, I I'd say it deserves number four right there. You probably remember me saying that Nihehe lost it for me after a while, even though I love Papyrus. Because this version is such a banger. Number three, Bone Trussle. Oh my god, Papyrus, you sweet, lovable boy. Bone Trussle, I love so much more than Nyehehe. Especially how it comes in, in like, into, like, fruition. It, basically, you fight Papyrus, and you think, oh, it's gonna be the same song you heard over and over again. But then, you turn blue. And that's when it kicks in. The fight itself is so good. But Papyrus is, like, this is full-on Papyrus' team. No matter what you tell me, I will always think of this as Papyrus' team, no matter if you say, no, Nyehehe was his team and this is a battle theme. No, this is so good, especially since in Deltrune they basically said the trouser of bones to, to indicate Papyrus. I mean, again, this is basically officially Papyrus' theme for me. I love this so much, it's so good. It's like, you can just, like, it's not that you can jam out to it like hopes and dreams, but like, I don't know. It just gives you that really good feeling about, like, uh, listening to it, and I love it so much for that. Again, it's such a good theme. Papyrus is one of my favorite characters, and it's definitely a great theme for him as a whole. And especially a lot better than his other version, which plays every single time you meet him, but I mean, still. It's such- it's so good. I love it so much. But, there are two other songs that- that just beat it, I will say that. Remember me saying that Spear Justice is the second best Undyne theme? Yeah, this is the best Undyne theme. Number two, battle against a true hero. Jesus, this song is so good. Like even Jesus himself couldn't make a song better than this. Holy crap! The scene with Undyne becoming the hero in this run and all that whatnot is so great. And then this song plays and makes it ten times better, nay a hundred times better. And holy heck, it sounds good. From the quiet. Then triumphant beginning to the somber middle as Undyne is the last person who could stop you from murdering people. 
I mean, well, te technically not the last person, but I mean, I, I don't know. It's like, I, I don't know. It's a weird thing. Sans is only doing it because you basically murdered everyone, and Undyne's like, oh, I'll help. I I'll do it. I mean, I especially like the trumpet part of it. I like it so much. Heck, I played down my trumpet a couple times. And, like, this is such an amazing song. It gives me, like, so much, like, joy and like gives me so much feeling in my in my body and like i love it so much again it's like i don't know why i i just love this song so much and i think that this is the best battle theme in this entire game but it's not the best song i mean it it truly isn't it's the best battle theme i love this song so much but it can never beat this next song This song is the definition of Undertale. Number one, it has got to go to Undertale for the best song in this, in, you know, all of Undertale. You know, if the name of the song is the name of the game, then this song better be the best thing ever, and it truly is. The beauty that of this song is, like, you know, basically, it kind of, like, takes parts of every single song you've heard of until this point. And I love it so much as you walk around this abandoned home with all the monsters telling you the story of what happened there and how Azrael died and whatnot. It's such a sad yet hopeful song and it represents Undertale as, as a whole the best that it could ever be. Like even the notes are so good, you just hear the three piano notes the entire time and you just want to go up so badly, like hit that point where you can go past it. But no, it just keeps staying the same until that very end. It keeps you invested for it. I love it so much. Like, that's the only part while well, talking about music like, like that. Because, again, this song just brings it out of me for some reason. It's a good song. And, like, honestly, the best this game offers. Like, if somebody's skeptical about the soundtrack in this game, show them this one. Because it is so amazing and will probably and will most likely like 99.9% .9 of the time change their mind. And if it doesn't, then they're the 0.1% of germs on this earth. I mean, from the parts of Azrael themes to the parts remind me of everything that's come in this game. I mean, this song is truly the best. I may not be a music man, but I can recognize good music when I see it. Or I mean, when I hear it, sorry, I, my eyes don't have ears. But I mean, this is such a great song. And in the end, Undertale, in my opinion, is the best Undertale song of all time. And nothing could change that mind. Actually, scratch that, it's Long Elevator, change my mind, Woo! Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. So earlier I mentioned on uh, Twitch, yeah, so yeah, if you guys made it to this far in the video, which I really hope you guys do, I made, I spent a lot of time making this. But I mean, yeah, um, I have a Twitch, uh, you guys should go follow it. It's actually about to beat my YouTube, so if you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe to my YouTube first. And then maybe follow the Twitch if you have Twitch. And yeah, um, subscribe, press notifications and all that whatnot. Like the video, I want to get to like at least 10 likes on this video. I mean, that seems pretty reasonable. And, uh, yeah, I also made a Discord finally, so you guys can join it. Um, link in the description, as well as my Twitch, link in the description. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for enjoying the video. I hope this does, I hope the algorithm gods bless me in this. But, I mean, yeah, I just, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. I, it really means a lot. And until next time, bye.